Good day everyone. Welcome to another session in our civil engineering review here in Visavilia Review Center. So for today, we will continue with the remaining topics of engineering economy. So for our topic, for our first topic, we have the uniform gradient series. So some problems involve receipts or expenses that are projected to increase or decrease by a uniform amount each period, thus constituting an arithmetic sequence of cash flows. So the figure below shows the cash flow diagram of the uniform gradient increasing by G per period. So let us say we have here in the first period there is no expense there. In the second period it will increase by G. In the third period it will increase by 2G. Next period it will increase by 3G and so on so until we have the last period in which we have the increase that is equal to n minus 1 times the g so as you notice the payments here or the amount increases by g per period so the problem is how will we solve for the present value then the future value and also the equivalent uniform annual or periodic amount so we have here so the derivation of the formula follows the arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression no? so our f is given by this formula and this part in the bracket can be written like this or we can express it into a functional symbol like this no? so f equal to g over i times this functional function and then minus n times g over i but usually we are not dealing with f but instead we are dealing with the equivalent present value of all the payments and also the equivalent uniform periodic amount uh, so for our a so we will have finding a been given g uh, so a is equal to this so A is equal to G times quantity 1 over I minus N over 1 plus I to the power N minus 1. Where the term in the brackets is called the gradient to uniform series conversion factor. And has a functional symbol like this. No? Uh, so the parenthesis or the quantity in the bracket is A over G. And we call it the gradient to uniform series conversion factor. So we have also finding P when given G. Uh, so we have here P is equal to G times the quantity in the bracket or braces. No? Uh, so the term inside the braces is called the gradient to present equivalent conversion factor and has this functional symbol so this is p over g uh, so p over g is equal to this quantity in the braces okay so what are the possible problems that we may encounter involving this uh, so we have here huh? so problem one a generator is expected to have a maintenance cost of 1,550 pesos at the end of the first year. And it is expected to increase 350 pesos every year for the following seven years. What sum of money should be set aside now 
to pay the maintenance for the 8-year period. Assume the rate of interest is 6%. Okay? So, as you notice, na? So, the maintenance cost of the generator, after 1 year, it is 1550 And in the succeeding years, it, we, it is expected to increase by 350 pesos each year. Uh, so, for the following eight year, uh, seven years now. So, from zero to one, uh, at the end of the first year, the maintenance cost is 1550 uh, At the end of the second year, this will incre increase by 350 uh, And so on. Uh. So, what sum of money should be set aside now to pay the maintenance for the eight-year period? Uh, rate of interest is 6%. So, notice that if we have the cash flow there, um, ito yun, ah. So, 1550 at the end of the first year. At the end of the second year, it will increase by an amount G, which is equal to 350. Uh, so, the question here, the amount to be set aside now in order to have this maintenance cost, is the present value of all the maintenance cost which is increasing by a fixed amount. No? Okay. So what shall we do? We will simply divide the payment into two parts. So the first part of the payment is this value. No? Uh, so that is the increasing value. So in the first year, wala pang increase. That is the base, 1,150. Then in the second year, it will increase by 350. In the third year, it will increase by another 350. And so on. Ha? Okay. So, if I will cut it here, so, itong sa taas, ito yung makikita natin na payments. Uh, tapos, itong sa baba, ito yung makikita natin payments. That is the 1,150 per year. And these are the increasing amount every year. Okay? So, the present value of all the payments is the sum P1 and then plus P2. Uh, uh, where P2 is simply an ordinary annuity. And as you notice, P1 here forms a uniform gradient series where G is equal to 350. Uh, so, we can solve for P1. That is using the formula for P. No? Uh, so, we are given this formula. Uh, so, P1 is equal to G times 1 over I. 1 plus I to the power N minus 1 over I times 1 plus I to the power N minus N over 1 plus I to the power N. Uh, so, interest rate is 6%. Uh, then, there are 8 periods. So, so, we have 8 periods. Okay? Uh, so, we have P1 equal to this. Uh, and then, for P2, we can simply solve this by using ordinary annuity formula. Uh, so, P equal to A times 1 plus I to the N minus 1 over 1 plus I to the N times I. Uh, so, present value of the annuity formula, where A is equal to A2, equal to 1,550. Uh, so, P2 will come out to be 9,625.13. Okay? So, the amount to be set aside now in order to have this maintenance cost during the 8-year period is the sum of P1 and P2. So, it is 16,569.59. Okay? Okay now. We can have another solution. So, in my first presentation here, na, in the previous slide, I am using the formula for the P, na, the present value of the uniform gradient series. Now, I can use also the value of A, which is the uniform, equivalent uniform, annual 
uh, equivalent uniform periodic cost or periodic amount of the gradient series. So, for this, I will solve for the equivalent in which that is equal to this. Yeah. Uh, so, the G is 350. So, I have the formula for A given G. Uh, so, A1 equal to G over 1 minus I minus N over 1 plus I to the power N minus 1. Uh, so, I can solve for A1. Yeah? So, 350 times 1 over 0 0.06 minus A times 1 plus 0 0.06 to the 8 minus 1. That is 1,118.32. Uh, so, this is the equivalent uniform periodic or annual cost of all the geometry, uh, arithmetic gradient series payment. Okay, now, I can solve for P1. Huh? Uh, so, if I will solve for P1 using the annuity formula, so, A times 1 plus I to the N minus 1 over 1 plus I to the N times I. Uh, so, if I will substitute values where A1 equal to the computed 1,118.3, I will come up with P1. Uh, then, for P2, the same procedure. Nah? This is the ordinary annuity with the payments equal to 1,550. Uh, then, our total amount needed now is the sum P1 plus P2. Okay? So, yan, eh? So, my first solution, I presented the formula for P. Present value, present value equivalent of the uniform arithmetic gradient series. Uh, then, for my second solution, this solution, I am presenting how will we solve for the uni equivalent uniform periodic payment A. Uh, pwede said, kung gusto ka, we will not, you will not solve for P1 and P2, but instead, you add your A1, 1118.3, you add it to 1550. Uh, so, pag ma-add mo to 1118.3 plus 1550, then use the present value of the ordinary annuity like this, no? or this formula, but your A is the A1 plus A2. Uh, so, depende lang yan sa discount. No? Huh? Okay. Okay. So, I think my other sample problems pa. No? Number two. What is the equivalent present value of the following series of payments? If the interest rate is 8% compounded annually, so P5,000 the first year, P5,500 uh, the second year, and then 6,000 pesos the third year. Uh, okay, so we have three payments which are increasing. No? So the first payment is 5,000, the second is 5,500, the third is 6,000. Okay. Uh, so, we have here single payment compound amount factor. Uh, we know this already in our ordinary annuity, no? F over P. Uh, we have here uniform series compound amount factor, F over A. Then, capital recovery factor, A over P. Uh, we are given this value. Uh, then, we have the gradient series factor. That is the A over G, no? Uh, so, Gradient series factor A over G. So that is given here. Okay. So, tingnan natin paano natin isolve tong problem na to, huh? Okay. So, ang hinahanap dito, yung A. Huh? What is the equivalent present value of the following series of payments? Uh, so, bali, mag-form tayo ng ordinary annuity tapos isolve natin yung A. Okay. So, again, itong payments na to can divide divided into two. Cut at the one, uh, cut at the 5,000 value. And the remaining is increasing by 500 pesos. Na? Uh, 5,000 
10 plus 500 that becomes 5,500 then plus another 500 that becomes 6,000 so ito yan ha? so ito yung uniform or ordinary annuity that is the 5,000 payment and this is the uniform gradient series with the value of G equal to 500 so it shall be the uh, the same as what we have last in the previous problem, no? Okay. So, for this, I can solve for P1. No? Uh, so, I have here... Uh, by the way, the question here is the equivalent, no? Uh, A. Uh, so, dito tayo mag-concentrate. Uh, so, we have A over G. Uh, and then, dito tayo, ha? Uh, dito tayo. Uh, so, look for the equivalent A, or uniform periodic payment. Uh, so, I am using the formula. Uh, and then, if I will divide by G, so I have the A over G. Now, I will use this because this is given in the problem. Uh, uh, so, the gradient series factor A over G is 0.9487. Uh, so, I can apply it to A2, uh, 0.9487. Uh, and then, G is 500. Uh, so, I can solve for A2. Okay? Uh, then, shall we know? Ito yung P na din. Ito yung equivalent na A. Uh, so, A is equal to A1 plus A2. Uh, and then, A, A1 is the 5,000. A2 is the computed value. So, we can solve for the percent value of the payment. Okay? Uh, so, bali, kung balik ka natin ang question, no? what is the equivalent present value? No, the P. Uh, present value of the following series of payments. Okay? Uh, so, uh, we have this. So, bali, ang new formula lang dyan, that is the A, and this formula for the uniform gradient series. Uh, ito, hindi naman to bago. This is already from the ordinary annuity formula, no? which has formed here, which had formed here. Okay. Another solution using the compound interest formula. Okay, na? So, Kung tingnan nyo, kumusta ang solusyon sa problem na ito? Medyo maraming ano, no, pinagdaanan ito. Oh, nag-solve ka pa ng A, tapos nag-solve ka pa ng A, A2. No? Apply this in, in order to solve for A2. And then pag may A2 ka na, you have the A in order to solve for P. Ah, pero kung tingnan mo dito, Kasi, tatlong payments lang to. So, itong mga ganito, tatlong payments lang, or we have five payments, I think, even six, no? pwede pa. Oh. We can just simply bring these amounts to the present. Oh, ito, dalhin ko to sa present. Ito, dalhin ko to sa present. Ito, dalhin ko to sa present. Oh, then, what formula I will be, I will use? Then, I will use the formula for the compound interest formula. Solving for P given F. Uh, pero tatlo to. Isang F, pangalawang F, pangatlong F. Uh, then I will add, simply add to get P. Okay? So using this formula, N here is 1. N here is 2. N here is 3. So I have the formula. Uh, so P equal to 5,000 times 1.08 to the power negative 10. Plus 5,500 times 1.08 to the power negative 2. Plus 6,000 times 1.08 times negative 3. Uh, and still, we get our answer. <laughs> 14,108. Yan na. No? Uh, so, bali, pwede, hanap ka lang ng discarte. Basta, ang importante dyan, you can solve it correctly. No, in any way, you solve it. Okay. Another problem? 
find the uniform annual series uh, uniform annual series of seven payments that would be equivalent to the following gradient series if the interest rate is 12% per annum. Ah, ito. A na lang yung hinahanap dito, ha? Uniform annual series. Okay. So, the payments, 500 initially, then 50 increments per year for a total of 7 years. Ah, tapos, may mga factor ka na namang binigay, na no? Binigyan ka na mga factor. Ah, so, kung tingnan natin, ito yung possible na magagamit natin, na no? Kasi, uh, these payments form a uniform arithmetic gradient series. Na? Okay. So, tingnan natin, ha? So, ito yung cash flow diagram. Start ka ng 500, tapos increasing by 50. Uh, so, ano yung gagawin natin dito? We cut, na? Cut at the 500. Uh, so, the lower part forms an ordinary annuity where the yearly payments is 500. Then the upper part here forms a uniform gradient series in which G is equal to 50 pesos. Ah, uh, ayan ha. Okay. Ah, uh, ito yung ordinary annuity. Ah, uh, tapos ito yung uniform gradient series. Ah, uh, tapos ang hanapin natin, we will have the equivalent of this uniform gradient series into the uniform annual payments or periodic payments. Uh, tapos, kung makuha natin itong A2, i-add natin sa A1. Uh, then, that is the uniform annual payment. Okay. So, may formula tayo dito, no? So, A2 is A2 over G. Uh, tapos, this is given in the problem. Gradient series factor A over G. Uh, so, that is 25515. Uh, gamitin natin yan. Uh, okay. Uh, so, makuha natin yung ito. Uh, and after that, we can solve for the total A. Uh, so, total A, E1 plus A2. So, 500 plus 127.575. So, uh, this is the uniform annual series of 7 payments. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Uh, next, we have here. Okay, tingnan natin, meron ba? Uh, meron pa. I think, last na to. A gradient series is a series of annual payments in which each payment is greater than the previous one by a constant amount. If the gradient series factor A over G is equal to 3.0985 at the end of 8 years, Find the rate of interest if it is compounded annually. Okay? Uh, so, tignan natin, ha? Uh, so, we are given A over G equal to 3.0985 uh, for a period N equal to 8. Uh, then, the question is I. Uh, that's all to. So, you replace A over G by 3.0985. Uh, so, ito, wala na. Ay na lang yung ano dito. Uh, pwede lang, pag may choices, pag hindi ka makagamit ng calculator na may sub function, ito, uh, pwede lang trial and error from the choices. No? Uh, pick a value from the choices, then substitute it to this equation. Uh, kung saan yung left side equal to the right side. Okay. So, substitute I value such that the value of the right side is 3.0985. Uh, so, if you try, that is equal to 8%. Uh, so, use I equal to 8%. Okay na? Yeah. So, we have the next topic. The... Geometric sequence of cash flows. Uh, still, gradient series, but we have here a, or we have here cash flows that will form a geometric progression or geometric sequence. Na? Okay. 
So some economic equivalence problems involve projected cash flow patterns that are changing at an average rate R each period now as shown in the cash flow diagram below. Okay. So if you look at the figure, the payments are increasing by a rate R. Yeah. Uh, so ito yung first payment A1. The second is A1 plus or A1 times 1 plus R. Uh, the next payment, this is A1 plus R squared. No? Ako, hindi na na-edit ito. Okay, so this is A1 times 1 plus R quantity square. No? Okay, so A1 times 1 plus R quantity square. Uh, then, the next payment is A1 times 1 plus R quantity cubed and so on. Uh, so, the last payment is A1, 1 plus R to the power N minus 1. Uh, uh, kasi nandito ka man nag-start ng power 1. Ito, power 0 man to. Balik. Yung quantity 1 plus R dito, power 0. Dito, power 1. Dito, power 2. Huwag kalimutan ha. 1 plus R to the power 2. Uh, then this is to the power N minus 1. Uh, so, we call it a gradient uh, the, the gradient series of geometric sequence of cash flows. Okay. So, ganun pa rin, we will solve for the equivalent percent value, na? the equivalent uniform annual or periodic, uh, periodic amounts, and we have the future value of all the payments, na? the equivalent future value of all the payments. So, ito lang yung gagawin natin. So, ang formula na binigay dito, na? ang formula sa book na binigay dito, yung sa P lang. Tapos, if you have the P, so out of this, may formula ka, makuha mo yung P. So, kung gusto mo isolve ang future, just use the compound interest formula, bring the amount of P to the year N. So, that is, the future equivalent of P. And P is the present value equivalent of all the payments. So, meaning, F here is the future value equivalent of all the payments. Na? Uh, ito, ha? Okay. So, finding the present value P equivalent at an interest I. Uh, so, we have this. Uh, where the value of W is 1 plus R over 1 plus I. Uh, by the way, Ano tong R? R is the rate of increase of the payments. While I here is the interest rate of money. Na? Uh, interest of money. So, ito yung W mo. Okay? And we have here, the end of periodic uniform equivalent A is obtained by using the annuity formula. Uh, so, again, Pag magkuha ka sa A, may P ka man, na? Uh, so, we have the A in terms of P. Uh, then, if you want the future equivalent of this geometric series, this is obtained by the compound interest formula. F equal to P times 1 plus I to the power N. Okay? Okay. So, we can have the problems. So, an annual maintenance cost for two colored machine of continental printing press are uh, 1,500 for the first year and is estimated to increase 10% each year every year. Uh, what is the present worth of the maintenance cost for six years if I is equal to 8%? Okay, ha? Huh? So, pina natin dyan. The annual maintenance cost for two-colored machine of continental printing press are 1,500 for the first year. Then, it will increase by 10% each year for every year. Uh, so, find the present worth, meaning the P, of the maintenance cost for the six-year period. Okay. So, ito yung cash flow diagram. 
Start by 1,500, then increase by 10%, so 1,500 times 1.1. 1 .1. uh, then the value, 1.1 .1 times 1,500, multiply mo na naman ng 1.1, or that is 1,500 times 1.1 1 .1 square. Ito maging times 1.1 cube, and so on, until the last six period. The question, what is the present equivalent? Na? So, we have the formula. So, ano yung R natin? So, sa formula, may W tayo in which W is 1 plus R over 1 plus I. Okay. So, the R is the point 0.1. So, that is the rate of increase of the amount. Uh, then, I is the interest rate, which is 8%. Na? Uh, so, we have here. So, R is 10% and I is equal to 8%. Uh, so, we can solve for the W. Uh, so, 1 plus R over 1 plus I. So, that is 1.0185. And then, we can use the formula for the present value equivalent. Uh, so, A1 is 1,500. Uh, by the way, Pag may ibang book dyan na A yung ginagamit, uh, that is understood, that is the 1,500. Uh, pero I am using here A1, tapos yung A, that is the equivalent periodic payment, equivalent uniform or equal periodic payments. Kasi baka makonfuse kayo, no? May A dito, tapos may A na naman sa kasunod. Uh, kaya, I use A sub 1 here. Na? Okay? So... May W na tayo. Uh, wala nang problema. N is 6. Uh, so, let's just substitute. Uh, then we have our present value equivalent of all the payments. Uh, take note, ha? If you are asked for the equivalent uniform annual payments, then use this P and the present value formula of the ordinary annuity or solving for A given P for ordinary annuity then we can simply solve for A uh, if you want the future equivalent uh, then simply use compound interest solve for F given P uh, yun lang huwag na itong i-consider kasi pag ito yung i-consider mo solving for F medyo hindi madali yan na? Uh, kaya P lang ang formula na binigay uh, tapos, i-combine na lang sa ordinary annuity and compound interest formulas. Okay? So, that is about gradient series, na? Uh, may isa, arithmetic gradient. Yung pangalawa, geometric gradient, na? Okay. So, next, we have here topic on methods of economy study. Okay, so this topic involves the evaluation if the project is profitable or not in order that the investor can decide if he will go with the investment or not. No? Also, if we have alternatives available to accomplish a project, the most advantageous alternative is selected and we can decide on that if we have the methods of economy study. So, depending on what method you will apply or use. Huh? Okay. So, we have here the present worth method. So, present worth or the PW method. So, the PW method is simply solving for the present value of all the costs. Uh, so, let's say, Pag may investment ka, of course, you will have the value of the investment as of now. No? Okay. Then, as you go along with the investment, no? the investment, may revenue ka, no? may income ka, tapos may mga expenses ka rin. Uh, so, if we will compute for the present value of all the revenues and expenses, no? Uh, so, we will have the present value of that. Na? And then, we will compare. So, of course, dapat, the present worth of the revenues, cash inflows, 
should be greater than the cash outflows. Kasi, pag greater yung or lesser yung cash inflows mo kahit sa cash outflows, ah, lugi ka. Diba? Uh, so, kaya, dapat bigger yung ano mo, cash inflows uh, compared to cash outflows. Uh, tapos, pag may ano ka, may base amount ka, dapat hindi ba lesser dito yung ano ko, income ko, uh, then you can decide if we will go on with the investment or not. Na? Okay. So, yan, na? So, the present worth method is based on the concept of the equivalent worth of the cash flows. Na? Uh, so, that is our focal point, our reference is the beginning of the time. Okay. So, problem. A duplicating machine minunta cost 20,000. It has an annual maintenance cost of 20,000. Salvage value of 5,000 with a life of 10 years. If the interest rate is 10% per year compounded annually, what is the present worth cost of the machine? Okay. So, a duplicating machine. Ah. So, we have the cost, 20,000. That is in the present cost. Then, you have annual maintenance of 20,000 for 10 years. Ah, so, that is additional outflow. Uh, additional expenses yan. Ah. So, aside from your present expense na 20,000, you have annual maintenance of 20,000 every year. Uh, then the salvage value of the duplicating machine after 10 years, that is 5,000. 5, huh? Okay? So if interest is 10% per year, what is the present worth cost of the machine? Okay? So, tingnan natin ang cash flow diagram. Okay? So, ito yung investment mo. Tapos, ito yung yearly maintenance cost. Uh, tapos, at the end of the life, you have the salvage value. So, the question, the present value, uh, the present worth, the PW of the machine, is the sum of all the uh, present value and expenses. Uh, okay. So, itong 20,000 present na to. Uh, ano yung gagawin natin sa A na tig 20,000 for 10 years? Compute dito using the present value of the ordinary equity. Uh, and P3, compute for the present value of the salvage value. Uh, salvage value at year 10, compute the equivalent present value P3 at the year 0. Uh, so, ordinary annuity, compound interest. Okay. So, P is equal to P1 plus P2 and then minus P3. Na? Uh, by the way, uh, huwag lang kayong makonfuse ha. Basta, kasi, di ba, in cash flow diagram, our consideration is that positive pointing upward, negative pointing downward. Uh, pero, correct naman ba? Uh, kasi, itong P1 at saka yung mga 20,000, itong P1 at saka yung A, mga expenses to. Kaya, negative. Uh, pero lang, ito yung kinoconsider natin positive dito. Uh, tapos, yung SV na din, salvage value, this is positive. No, this is inflow. Uh, because when you sell the equipment no, or the machine at the end of its life, no, the scrap value is inflow. Additional. No? Uh, pero dito, ito yung naging negative. Subtract natin yan sa maintenance. Okay? Uh, so, P equal to P1 na sa present na yan. Itong P2 using ordinary annuity. And then itong P3 using the compound interest. Okay, we can substitute values. Uh, I think wala nang problema dyan. Lahat-lahat, klarong-klaro na yan, ha? Uh, then we can solve for the P. 149.63.63. So the present value, present worth, cost uh, 
of the machine. Okay, we have another problem. A brand new condominium of the MCI is being advertised for sale by the owner. An investor estimates that the property could be rented out for $600 per month. Taxes and minor maintenance expenses are estimated at $1,200 per year. The house has been recently remodeled and the tenant should have to pay all utilities. The investor thinks he could sell the house for $85,000 after 5 years. Uh, what is the largest amount that the investor can offer for the property if his minimum attractive rate of return na MARR is 12% this is the interest considered interest of money na is 12% compound, compounded monthly okay so tingnan nyo ito per month uh, this is inflow na uh, kasi pag e, parental mo yan you will be receiving $600 per month uh, Maintenance, this is outflow, na, uh, expense, 1,200 per year. Uh, the house can be uh, sold for $85,000 $85, after 5 years. At bali, ito yung uh, book value at the end of 5 years. So, this is inflow na naman, na. Uh, pero this is per year, this is per year, this is per month, na. So, tapos, your amount of money is 12% 12 compounded monthly. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin dito, this is 12% compounded monthly. Applicable lang tong 12% compounded monthly sa 600 because this is paid per month. Pero itong 1,200 and the 85,000, ito pwede. Ah, pwede, pero ibahin mo yung N. Ah, tingnan natin na. Okay. So, ito, per year, ito, years na lang natin to because this is 5 years. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin, isolve ko muna yung P1. That is the present value of all the rentals where A1 is 600. Ah, ito, ha? Sa income of the rental. Uh, so, I is 12% over 12, no? Compounded monthly. So, 0.12 over 12, that is 0.01. Ah, nandito lang. Pinakita dito, no? So, I is 0.12 over 12. Uh, then, N is 60. Uh, why is it N is 60? Rental every month for 5 years. So, 1 year, 12 months. So, total for 5 years, there are 60 months. Ito yung P1. Uh, dito, pesos sa dollars to. Uh, Amerikano tayo ngayon. Uh, okay. Uh, then, we can compute for the present worth of the 85,000. For your end, kuha ka ng effective interest rate. Uh, so, yung I na gagamitin mo sa formula sa 1,285,000 1, per year, yung equivalent interest rate, and that is the uh, effective interest rate na, of the 12%. Okay. So, 0. 0.1268. Uh, alam na natin tong formula na to. Computing the effective interest rate. So, 0.1268. Uh, so, from compound interest formula, Tito is F over 1 plus I to the power N. Okay? Tito, uh, Tito. Uh, then, for the expenses, ito yung negative, ha? Uh, P3. Uh, ang gagamitin natin, ang effective na rin. Uh, N is 5. Uh, so, P3 equal to 4,253.7. Okay? So, ito expense. Ito positive. Yung una kanina, positive to, ha? Uh, positive, positive, uh, tapos ito, negative. Uh, so, the total percent word is this plus this minus this. Uh, so, 69,512. Okay, so that is the present worth na. Tignan natin kung meron pa ba ang ibang problem. Additional na. Ah, meron pa. 
Okay. Metro University must choose from among three plans for a new classroom building. One, we have spending 21 million now will meet the needs of the next 10 years. Two, spending 13 million now will meet the needs of the next six years. After six years, 12 million would be spent on another building to meet the needs of the last four years. Uh, then third, for 15 million now, the new building can be designed for expansion later at a cost of 7 million. Huh? Uh, so for 15 million now, the new building can be designed for expansion later at a cost of 7 million. If Metro University uses an interest rate of 5%, what is the cheapest alternative? Okay. So, ito na. No? Ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina sa introduction. Possible, may mga alternative tayo kung paano natin i-accomplish yung gagawin natin. No? So, Metro University here is planning a new classroom. Then, there are two, three ways of building the classroom or three alternatives no? uh, so ang question which of the alternatives is the cheapest or the best no? okay? uh, but the best here is in terms of money value no? monetary value walang ibang other consideration uh, kasi pag i-include natin yan uh, ibang usapan na yan no? uh, diba? Okay, so this is just about monetary values kung saan dyan ang cheapest alternative. Okay, so we will use the present value. No? No, Naka-indicate ba yung present value? Wala, no? Metro University is uh, first spending to be now with the needs. Ah, okay, so although hindi naka-indicate na ang gamitin mo sa evaluation is the present worth method, no? So, it's better to convert all the expenses of the three alternatives, na? all the cost of the three alternatives in the present. Uh, tapos, yung pinaka-cheapest, yung pinaka-smallest present for na? Okay. So, the first alternative, we have one. Building the new classroom now and spending 21 million. Uh, yan ang first alternative na. Uh, and it will meet the needs of the next 10 years. Okay. So, the present value of this, alternative 1, is 21 million. Wala ka na yung ikumbiya. No. You will spend now at the present 21 million. And it will meet the needs of the next 10 years. Okay. Alternative number 2, Spending 13 million now will meet the needs of the next six years. After six years, another 12 million would be spent on another building to meet the needs of the last four years. Uh, so, bali, hindi 21 ang spend mo as of now, 13 lang. Uh, tapos, after six years, you will spend another 12 million. Uh, so that it will meet the need of the last four years. Okay. So, kung i-compute natin itong present value natin, ito, present na to. Uh, tapos, bring the present value or compute the present value of 2 million at the year zero. Uh, using compound interest formula. Huh? Okay. Uh, so, present worth is 13 plus 12 over 1 plus 0 0.05 to the power 6. Uh, then, the present part is 21.25 million. Okay? Uh, so, bali, ang um, description nila dito sa 1, all expense now. Na, all now. Sa second, minimal now. Uh, minimal now, pero may iba ka pang expenses after 6 years. Uh, itong third, you will build 15 million, you will use 15 million now to build a new building. And then later, it can be designed at a cost of 7 million. Na? Okay. So, ito yung cash flow sa, na, 
Uh, by the way, ang description nila dito, stage construction. Ha? Okay, bali. You will spend 15 million, ha? stage construction, and then after seven, after six years, you will add 7 million in order to have the meet the requirement for the 10-year period. Ha? Okay. So, ano yung present value natin dito? Ito, naka-present na to. So, compute the present value of the 7 million at the year 0. Ah, of course, present value is at the year 0. Ha? Okay. So, compound interest formula. Ito yung present value. 20.2 million. Okay? So, meaning, which alternative is the cheapest? The third alternative. Ha? So, the ter third alternative the cheapest and the value is 20.2 million. Okay? So, yun ang gamit sa present worth method. Na. So, we will compare expenses or we will compute for the present value of all the expenses. Na. Uh, expenses, uh, bali, uh, cost. Uh, we will compute for the present value of all cost. It can be inflow or outflow. Uh, so, yung inflow positive, yung outflow negative. Okay. So, tingnan natin. Meron pa ba? O, oh, meron pa. Okay. So, CLI owns the last vacant parcel in IT Park. There are three proposals for developing the property. Uh, so, we have a vacant parcel na, in IT Park. And then, we have three proposals for developing the property. In each case, CLI builds and maintains the structure and receives income from it. CLI uses an interest rate of 12% and a horizon of 25 years for its analysis. Years. May ari to ha? This printed. Na. Okay. Which proposal preferred using a PW criteria? Uh, so meaning, present work method. Yung ganun din natin. Okay. So, R and B lab. First cost, 3 million. Annual operation and maintenance cost. Na, o and M, operation and maintenance cost, 750,000. Annual income, 1,200. Salvage value, 1 million. Instrument maintenance, I M. First cost, 3.3 million. Uh, annual operating and maintenance 200, annual income 750, salvage value 0.4 uh, then we have the snowboard new facturing so first cost 4.6 million then operating and maintenance cost 400 annual income 1,100 1,000 uh, huh? Uh, then we have 0.5 million for the salvage value. Okay. So, which alternative or which proposal is preferred? Okay. So, we will compute for the present value of all the cost. Na? Okay. At 12%. Then, 25 years of period of analysis. Okay. So, for the PW. Itong P, P1, ano tong P1? This is the... Uh, anong tong, ano tong mga ano dito? So, first cost. Expense to, no? Ito, uh, so negative. Negative, positive, tapos positive. Ah, pero tingnan lang natin kasi cost man yung kinoconsider dito. Baka ito yung positive nila, itong income ang negative. Ah, tingnan lang natin. So, as long as your consideration for the sign, opposite sign R, opposite, opposite, uh, ano, or inflow and outflow have opposite sign. Okay? So, positive man yung P3. Tapos itong P3 na to. Ah, okay na. Kita ko na. So, bali, yung an income and salvage value positive. Itong first cost and operation maintenance are negative. Ah, kasi expenses to. Ito yung income. Ah. Ah. 
So, kaya, itong P3, this is for the salvage value. Itong P1 and P2, this is for the operation and maintenance and the income. Uh, pero ang operation and maintenance, P1, negative. Atong P2, income, positive. Uh, then, first cost is negative. Okay? So, we have now. So, this is for R and D. Uh, so, the present worth. Uh, so, this is the income. 1,200,000 per year. Uh, then, this is the present value of the salvage value na 100,000. Or 1,000. Okay. Uh, then, expenses of 750,000 per month. Uh, then, we have the... Ano? Uh, amount first cost of the investment. Uh, by the way, yung 3 million ginawang 3,000,000. Na ito 1 million 1,000,000. Ito 1,200,000. Uh, yung K, 1,000 yan na alam naman natin yan. Okay. So the present worth of the cost for the R&D is 588.2 uh, thousand. Okay, so, compute for the present worth of the IM, na, so, ito yung income, the salvage value, ito yung operation and maintenance, uh, tapos ito yung first cost. Uh, so, alam na ninyo yan, ha? Alam na ninyo yan, gamitin nyo yung formula, na uh, either present worth of the annuity, Dalawa man lang to. Present worth of the annuity and the present worth of the future, equivalent present value of the future in the compound interest formula. Okay. So, this is 1,037.26,000. Yeah. So, 1,037,260. Ah, then lastly, we have the SM. Yeah. Uh, so, present worth. Ito yung income, present worth of the salvage value, uh, present worth of the operating and maintenance expense, and this is the first cost. Uh, so, we have 919.5,000. Okay. So, the question is, saan ang i-prefer nila? Kasi, ang i-compare dito, yung income na, na yung bali, yung bali difference of the inflow minus the outflow uh, so dapat yung pinakamalaki ha uh, yung pinaka pinakamalaking kita na so, ito 588 ito 1037 uh, itong pangatlo 919.5 so for the biggest income that is the IM 1037 i think na uh, so, therefore, the instrument maintenance facility is the most attractive. Okay, so that is, again, comparison of alternatives. Na? Uh, so, pag mga cost, of course, uh, yung kanina, yung previous problem dito, cost man yan, na? So, yung pinaka lesser cost. Uh, ito, yung pinakamalaking kita. Uh, so, ang pinakamalaking kita, yung IM. Di ba? Uh, ayan, ang most attractive. Okay, meron pa ba? Ah, wala na. Okay, so we will move on to the next uh, method. Na? And the next method is what we call the future worth method. The FW. Yung kanina, PW. Present worth method. Na? Uh, then we have the future worth method. Na? Okay, this is very much similar to that of the present worth method. Only that our reference, our focal point is the future. Na? Uh, kaya, we will compute all the expenses, convert it into all future amount. Uh, then we can compare. Uh, so, of course, dapat, the future value of the cash inflows should be greater than the future value of the cash outflows. Na? Uh, so, okay. so, we can have a problem. So, we're here. E-duplicating machine, minulta cost 20,000. 
It has an annual maintenance cost of 20,000, salvage value of 5,000 with a life of 10 years. If the interest rate is 10% per year compounded annually, what is the future worth cost of the machine? Okay, so what have you noticed? If you recall, this is the first problem we solved in the present work method. No. So now, this is presented again, pero the problem as for the future work cost of the machine. So, ibahin lang natin yung pagkakumpiyot sa future tayo. Okay? So, ito yung cash flow diagram natin. So, the machine or the equipment cost 20,000. Compute for the future amount of 20,000 F1 at the end of its life. Then, we have the annual maintenance A. So, instead of computing the present, compute the future. Uh, then, the salvage value is already in the future. Wala ka nang gagawin dito. Uh, then, F1 and SV are positive. Na? F1 and... Uh, uh, F1, ano to? Expense to, na? Uh, tapos ito, expense. Uh, so, F1 and F2 are negative. SV is positive. Na? Okay. Uh, pero, cost man ang kinoconsider dito. So, meaning, i-reverse natin, na? Para positive yung cost, bali, uh, ito yung mga positive, ito yung negative. Na? Okay. So, ordinary entity formula F, uh, pakirik ko lang. Ha? Uh, then, future value formula, compound interest F. Okay. Uh, so, yung F1, ito yung nagamitin. Yung F2, ito yung nagamitin. Ha? Uh, SB, wala. Okay. So, over here. Ay, by the way, Mali, uh, misprinted. Hindi ito plus, uh, minus ito. Ah, then dito lang. Uh, I-correct nyo lang ito, ha? So, F equal to F1 plus F2 minus SV. Minus SV. Okay? Uh, so, F1 is the future value of the 20,000. F2 is the future value of the annuity. Then, the 5,000 is already in the future. Okay. So, compute. We have here our F. Again, mga correction yung mga mga kunting mga mali-mali. Hai, pang note nyo dyan. Sige, so this is 365,623.34. The future was FW of the payment. So, I think isang example lang tayo sa FW. Anyway, it is very much similar. So, the sa present work method, no? Uh, if in case, yung problem na na-solve natin sa PW method, pag ibalik yun, tapos sabihin, uh, based on the future work method, yun uh, pa rin, pwede natin ma-solve lahat-lahat na future work sa expenses or the cost there, no? Okay. So, we will now go to the third method of analysis. Na? So, we have here the annual worth or the annual cost method. Na? So, the annual worth or the annual cost method. So, the annual worth of a project, AW or AC, some books we have AC, na? of a project is equivalent to the cash inflows and cash outflows at an interest rate I. So the annual worth of the project is equivalent is its equivalent annual revenues R minus equivalent expenses minus the capital recovery cost C R of the project. Now the capital recovery formula is given by this. Now capital recovery. So for the capital recovery C R, may maraming consideration yun pag compute. Ah, so take note of that. So ito, this is finding the A. Kung makita mo to, this is finding the equivalent annual cost. Na finding the equivalent annual cost of the FC first cost minus salvage value of the investment. 
and then you subtract the interest of the salvage value. So this is the capital recovery formula. Okay, huh? uh, so this is solving for A given P. Uh, solving for A given P of the ordinary annuity. But your P is the first cost minus salvage value. Then you subtract the salvage value times the interest of money. Huh? So this is the capital recovery cost. Okay, now, also... The capital recovery cost is the equivalent uniform annual cost, no? Equivalent uniform annual cost of the capital invested, which consists of the depreciation plus the interest on the capital invested, called the minimum required profit. Huh? Uh, so, bali the the uniform equivalent uniform annual cost has the depreciation. Uh, so, depreciation that is every year. And then the minimum required profit. And the minimum required profit is equal to the first cost times the interest rate. Na? So the interest of money. Uh, by the way, pag may ibang expenses ka pa, idagdag mo pa yan. Ha? Okay. So ito lang yan, considering the machine ha? or the equipment. Okay. So uniform, equivalent uniform annual cost equal to first cost times interest rate. Uh, plus the depreciation. And the depreciation is by using the sinking fund method. Huh? Okay. So, ito lang yung CR, ha? Cap uh, capital recovery cost. Uh, pero, so if you have the annual worth or the annual cost, it is consists of the revenue uh, minus the expenses uh, minus the capital recovery cost. Uh, so, to have the equation for the annual worth, ito yan. So, dapat, the annual worth should be positive. Uh, because that is revenue minus expenses, uh, which includes the capital recovery cost or the equivalent uniform annual cost of the capital invested. Okay? Stay up there, ha? So, problem. Tingnan natin. So, kind of problem. Okay, ta. A duplicating machine, you know, ta, cost. Ah, by the way, you know, before I will solve problem, itong dalawang formula, parehas lang ang result nito. Kaya, either yung gagamitin mo. So, sa recover, capital recovery, pwede kang gamit dito, pwede rin itong gagamitin mo. Uh, same as the equivalent uniform annual cost. Ha? Uh, so, we observe later na parang ihalo-halo lang tong dalawang formula kung saan yung comfortable din gamitin, same lang ang sagot. Ha? Okay. No. Okay. So, a duplicating machine, we know, uh, cost 20,000. It has an annual maintenance cost of 20,000, salvage value of 5,000 with a life of 10 years. So, if the interest rate is 10% per year compounded annuity, compute the, oy, wala, wala mang question. Uh, nalimutan. Sige, ilagay nyo na lang yung question. The question here is, compute the capital recovery. Uh, compute the capital recovery worth na. So, capital recovery cost. Compute the capital recovery cost. Okay. So, I will use the formula for the capital recovery cost. Ha? Huh? Uh, so, first cost salvage value. Ah, parang nandito yan. Okay. So, first cost is 20,000. Salvage value is 5,000. I is 0.1 for a period of N, 10 years. Okay. So, I can substitute. Then, sum for the capital recovery cost. That is 2,941.18. Okay. Next, we have here. A machine which cost 50000 when new has a 10-year lifetime and a salvage value equal to 10% of its original value. Determine the capital recovery based upon an interest rate of 8% per year compounded annually. Uh, parang similar question lang, ha? Uh, so, ito yung first cost, 50000 
Now, salvage value, 10% of its original value, 5,000. Uh, N is 10, then I is 0.08. Uh, no? uh, so, yan. Uh, so, 7,105 per year. Okay? Uh, then, no problem. So, cost of maintenance equal to 40,000. Operating cost, 10,000 per year. Salvage value, 0. Life of the machine, 10 years. Uh, question, what is the equivalent uniform annual cost if the interest rate is 10% per year compounded annually? Okay, so, ano yung gagamitin natin? Ha? So, first cost times the interest. Ito yung minimum profit na the interest of your investment. Uh, tapos, ito yung depreciation by using the compound, ah, uh, uh, depreciation by using the sinking fund method. Uh, tapos, the operating cost, na, uh, or maintenance cost. Okay. So, anong nandito? Cost, first cost, na, uh, salvage value zero. May operate, operating cost ka 10% per year, and life is 10 years. Uh, I is 10% compounded annually. Okay? Uh, so, uh, substitute. Uh, then we have the uniform annual cost. Diba natin? Meron pa siguro, ha? Okay. So, maintenance expenditures for the Mananga Bridge in Tabunok, Talisay with a 20-year life will come as periodic outlays of 1,000 at the end of the 5th year, 2,000 at the end of the 10th year, and 3,000 at the end of the 15th year. With interest at 10%, what is the equivalent uniform annual cost of maintenance for the 20-year period? Uh, so, for this problem, na, this asks for the equivalent uniform annual cost. Pero kung tingnan mo dito, hindi binigay yung first cost. Walang salvage value. So, walang data for the first cost and salvage value of the bridge. So, ang binigay lang niya ang maintenance cost lang. Na? Maintenance expenditure. Uh, and then, we are asked for the equivalent uniform annual cost. So, bali, this is simply conversion. Na? If kung mga cost na to, 1,000 in the 5th year, 2,000 in the 10th year, and then 3,000 in the 15th year, if kung mga cost na to, i-compute natin yung equivalent A, periodic per year, na? for the 20-year period. Uh, so, ang gagawin natin, Gamitin natin yung anong formula ang gamitin natin. Ordinary annuity formula. Ha? Gamitin natin yung ordinary annuity formula. Solve for P1. Ha? And then after solving for P1, solve for the equivalent. And the equivalent is this. Ha? For the 20-year period. Ha? Okay? Ha? So, from this, I can have the P. Uh, 1,000 over 1.1 for 5 years, 2,000 over 1.1 in 10 years, 3,000 over 1.1 in 15 years. So, I can solve for the P1. Okay? Now, the equivalent, ordinary and with A, that is P2 is equal to P1. Diba? Uh, then, using the compound or the annuity formula, given P, solve for A. Uh, so, we have P2 equal to P1, and we have N20, interest rate is 10%. Uh, so, we can solve for A. Okay? Uh, so, wala yung first cost times the interest. Wala, wala yung depreciation. Diba? Uh, kasi wala mang data. So, this is simply conversion. This cost converted to uniform equivalent annual cost or equivalent uniform annual cost. Okay? Uh, so, I think meron pa. Uh, so, we have here. 
Palisay City is considering a new 50,000 street cleaner. The new machine will operate at a savings of 600 per day compared to the present equipment. Assume interest of money, na? minimum attractive rate of return is 12%. And the machine life is 10 years with zero resale value at that time. How many days per year must the machine be used to justify the investment? Okay, so ito na yung annual worth lahat na. Kasi yung kanina, yung mga ano natin, yung uh, what we are solving there in the previous problems are the CR only, na? the capital recovery cost. Uh, yung capital recovery cost lang yun or the equivalent uniform annual cost. Uh, so, dito, i-consider na natin lahat. Uh, so, tingnan mo. Tingnan niya na. So, Talisay is considering a new 50,000 pesos street cleaner. So, this is the first cost. So, the new machine will operate at a savings of 600 per day compared to the present equipment. Uh, so, my revenue ka na. Na, when you use the street cleaner worth 50,000, you have a daily revenue of 600 pesos. Okay, and the machine life is 10 years with zero resale value. So, how many days per year must the machine be used to justify the investment? Okay, so, ito yung annual cost of savings. Uh, or the comparison, na? So, first cost, uh, so, ito yung mga bali expenses natin. Ito yung mga expenses. Na? So, ito yung CR. Diba? Uh, so, first cost times I, annual depreciation plus the operating cost. Uh, nandyan yan lahat. Na? Uh, so, if you compute, ito yan. Uh, so, makompute natin to. So, ito yung sa right side. Na? Uh, so, bali. Ayan. Uh, so, dapat, it should be equal to the annual revenue. For this problem, na, we will be equating the annual cost or savings per day times the number of days equal to the expenses or the uh, capital recovery plus the operating or the capital recovery. Na. Uh, so, 600 per day times X days equal to these expenses. Uh, and x is equal to 14, or uh, we have 15 days per year. Uh, so that is using the strip cleaner. Uh, so meaning, within 15 days of use lang sa strip cleaner, na, itong 50,000 strip cleaner, gagamit ka lang ng 15 days, okay na. Uh, so how much more if you use for more than 15 days? in one year na. So, how many days per year? Na. So, 15 days lang. Na. Kuha mo na. Kuha mo na yung ano, uh, profitable na yung pag-purchase mo sa 50,000 worth na street cleaner. Uh, yan, ha? Pero, if you will use it for lesser than 15 days in one year, uh, which is not possible also, na. Uh, pag, uh, kasi, uh, street, street cleaner machine yan, na. So, dapat, mo. So, bali, if you use it for lesser than 15 days, better not to purchase. Because the savings is lesser than the expenses. Diba? Okay. So, I think my problem pa. Ay, wala na. No? Uh, ito na, last problem. Uh, so, this is comparison na. So, annual cost of purchasing the street cleaner should be equal to the expenses and the expenses is equal to the capital recovery cost okay uh, so makuha mo yung 15 days nagdagan uh, na lang natin to next meeting ha? Uh, may mga maraming problems pa ipaya tayo natapos kasi there are many methods in uh, economic analysis so, so far tatlo yung na discuss natin na present work method future worth method and the annual worth method in which in the annual worth method we have the capital recovery cost or what we call equivalent uniform annual cost okay 
So, thank you very much no, for viewing the video. So, until next uh, meeting for our continuation. No? So, thank you and stay safe everyone. God bless.